Hey guys, congratulations on your new phone. During data transfer, if the move to iOS process keep encountering error or have failed to compelt, don't worry. In today's video, we'll cover fixes for iOS 18 and iOS 17 and share alternative methods if needed. Things may differ from older iOS versions, so stay tuned for details. Okay, let's dive in. The first solution is to reset your network. One of the most common reasons for move to iOS failing is network connectivity issues. On your Android phone, open the Settings app, go to Connections, and tap Wi-Fi. Forget the current network, reconnect to it, or try connecting to a different network. Make sure the Wi-Fi is working properly, and don't forget to turn off mobile data to avoid interference. Next, on your iPhone, press and hold the side button to restart the setup process. Select Start Over and follow the on-screen steps. If your iPhone gets stuck at any point, force restart it by pressing the Volume Up button, then the Volume Down button, and holding the side button until the Apple logo appears. Release the button when the logo shows up and start the setup process again. Here's another important step. If the partially set up screen appears on your iPhone, choose to erase it and start over. Skipping this step could cause the transfer page to be bypassed. When starting over, ensure your iPhone connects to the same Wi-Fi network your Android is using. Once both devices are on the same network, then try the transfer again. If it still doesn't work, no worries, there are more options. If transferring photos is the most important part, Google Photos is a fantastic alternative. Here's how it works. Download and install the Google Photo app on your Android device. Use it to back up your photos to your Google account. With 15 GB of free cloud storage, you can back up your photos to the cloud and access them on your new iPhone. On your iPhone, Download the Google Photos app from the App Store and log in with the same Google account. Then, after a while, your photos are ready to view or download anytime you need them. This method doesn't require you to erase your iPhone and is incredibly easy to set up. Plus, since your photos are stored in the cloud, they won't take up too much space on your new device. However, it's important to note that this solution doesn't transfer files, contacts, or app data. And with the 15 GB limit, it may not work for large data transfers. If you need a full data transfer without limits, there's a better option. Method 3. Use iTransGo for all data transfers. For a comprehensive solution that transfers everything, iTransGo excels in efficient data transfers, data safety, and software stability. It supports transferring large amounts of data in no time. You can find the free download link in the description below. Let's see how to use it. Just connect both phones to your computer and allow access. Go to the Android to iOS section and click Start. Follow the prompts to enable USB debugging on your Android and install iTransGo on your phone when prompted. Then, you can start the transfer process. Select the data you want to transfer and then begin the transfer. With just a few steps, your data will be transferred and your phone will not be erased. Everything will be exactly where you expect it to be. Now we can see that we got everything from the old Android and nothing was lost on my iPhone 16. It is practical and efficient. If you want to transfer WhatsApp data, you can check out the video I linked here. Okay, if you found this video helpful, get the free download link in the description to support us. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you and see you next time.